Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to thank the organizer to give me the opportunity to present to you um, uh, the French Institute of Bioinformatics, its role in the European infrastructure of, inform of bioinformatics, which is called Elixir. Um, and to show you how we, these two dimensions are playing together to deliver some services to the research community, the French and also the international one. So Elixir and the French Institute of Bioinformatics are two collaborative uh, networks of people and of in institutes. Uh, that are building resources and services for research in life science. Um, so first, Elixir, uh, I will introduce it very briefly. So it's a European distributed infrastructure for life science information. As you can see, uh, it is built from uh, 25 national nodes plus uh, EMBL ABI, and all these nodes uh, collaborate uh, to um, link with uh, the scientific community and enable the scientists to access and analyze their life science data, uh, to uh, deliver services and, and to work on the technology uh, part of the work, deliver services to support distributed data management and analytics, um, to also um, help uh, the countries uh, to develop um, people and capacity uh, in bioinformatics and informatics and uh, to um, strengthen uh, the nodes uh, in the delivery of their services uh, for the long term. Uh, the French Institute of Bioinformatics is the French node of, of Elixir. It is also a distributed infrastructure uh, it is composed of, it, is, it consists in uh, 36 platforms and research teams that are, as you see, spread all over the territory. Um, it, one unit is coordinating the whole uh, thing. It's a multi-organization uh, infrastructure. The four main institutes uh, uh, governing it are CNRS, INSERM, in RAE and CEA. Um, so the aim of uh, the French Institute of Bioinformatics is uh, to develop common resources and, 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 and give access to them uh, to, um, to the, research the French research community. And it has been supported by the French Ministry of Higher Education and Research since 2012. So, on the whole, it gathers a large set of expertise in the domain of bioinformatics, and it is composed of more than 400 of experts. So the other thing in France is that our node uh, is, um, is encompassing a large set of domain of application of the bioinformatics, and it's, uh, it's, it addresses somehow all the scientific priorities which are in, in the Elixir program. So um, going from uh, molecular biology and cellular biology on the top, uh, health, which is a very strong uh, domain of application in Elixir, and a very diverse domain of application. It goes from uh, biodiversity, food security and environment, and pathogens. Um, so we are um, we have uh, research uh, researchers. We support researchers in all the, these uh, domains, and so the idea is to help our research institute to address uh, important societal challenges uh, in this domain of applications. Another uh, in, in the context, another important element in the context is that IFB is part of a kind of club of uh, national infrastructure, uh, of research infrastructure. Um, and you see on the top, so there are, I don't know, I think it's more than 20 of them. Um, and, and this is very interesting because it's a place, well, we, we have some network where we can discuss uh, common uh, problems. 
such as uh, fair data management and data interoperability. Often, when you do research, uh, you uh, mobilize uh, several infrastructure, and the data has to be fair across these different infrastructures. Um, it also um, favor the partnerships in large national pro uh, project or uh, as well as uh, in a European project, they can come together and address some of the, of the needs of the project. Uh, so IFB and uh, Elixir FR is actively to, uh, contributing to Elixir's activities. And these activities are organized in two different tiers. Uh, the platform, the more technical uh, part of the tiers uh, around the data platform, tools platform, compute, interoperability, and training. So I've put uh, French flags on, on the, on the uh, platforms where we are contributing also to the strategic planning of the, of the work uh, by co-coordinating it. And we are also uh, contributing to uh, another tool that was set up by Elixir a long time ago, which are the community and the role of the community is to link with the research, with the domain of application of the, the research community. And you can see also that we are contributing to the strategic planning uh, of several of them. Uh, one thing I want to point is that doing this, uh, we are also, um, uh, it's also a, a very good uh, way to contribute to uh, the development of European projects with the colleagues of Elixir. So we are building trust together and more and more we are developing European projects and this is where you can really advance uh, your work. So if, if you want to contact Elixir FR, um, the three persons that you can contact at first are myself, uh, Guy, our new di director of, of, uh, of IFB, and also our precious uh, node coordinator, uh, Angela Sens, uh, who is uh, really coordinating the daily activities uh, for Elixir FR. So uh, IFB is uh, uh, regularly uh, updating its uh, roadmap and we did so uh, recently. So it started the, with a big brainstorming uh, in the French Alps with uh, all the, the community of IFB. And it was uh, coordinated by the former uh, directors of IFB, Claudine Medig and, uh, and Jacques Van Elden. And, and we ended up uh, with a, a new roadmap uh, and uh, um, an organization in seven task force which goes from infrastructure, tools, knowledge paths, support to users, training, open science and interoperability, and prospective and innovation. And now what I would like to show you is to give you some of, of the, the act, uh, a hint on some of the activities that we have been doing and how we, we kind of try to develop synergies between the Elixir activities and the French uh, activities. So uh, first, when researchers come to uh, computing infrastructure, what they want is, compu is computing, uh, is to do computing and storage. So the first work that we did, and this is really French, the, the, there is not much interaction with Elixir in that, was to set up a national network of computing resources. Uh, and so it is a distributed uh, uh, network uh, of uh, nine platforms so far, but it's uh, always increasing. Um, we, um, we are using two complementary uh, technology, cluster and cloud. Um, and, and the nice thing is that uh, this uh, in distributed infrastructure uh, is managed by a distributed third team of experts uh, from the IFB's uh, platforms uh, of more than 17 uh, people. And they are really sharing experience, best practice development, and they have really um, moved forward thanks to this ne uh, network. 
And we are, and they are also actively collaborating with other stake French stakeholders providing computing resources uh, in France. So you have the four uh, people who are coordinating this task force, and one of them is also a technical coordinator for Elixir, so he's linking uh, with the technical part of Elixir. Um, the second thing that researcher wants is a, a environment to do their uh, analysis, data analysis. So we have a lot of activities uh, in facilitating the setup of virtual and reproducible environment of analysis. And this is where we have a lot of uh, interaction with Elixir uh, also. Um, uh, with the development of, um, for, uh, so we are, for instance, involved in strategic project of uh, the Elixir tool platform, which aims at really uh, industrializing uh, the setup of such uh, virtual and reproducible environments. So the, the name of the project is BioContainers, and there is a, a big roadmap in Elixir with a vision where we want to go to uh, set up a, a, a very efficient ecosystem for setting up uh, uh, an analysis environments. And so we are very active in this uh, level and we used, we used the, the knowledge uh, that we gained together at the European level uh, and the French are also giving their expertise in that to set up our own resources in France. And so, for instance, we have a use uh, galaxy, a French use galaxy. We are sharing good practices, recipes, etc. And again, the people coordinating this task force are uh, at the bottom. And three of them, as you can see, are very much involved into Elixir uh, uh, facilitation at different levels. Uh, the Elixir Galaxy Community uh, uh, Implementation Study, so strategic pro project and, and the strategic roadmap of the tool platform in Elixir. Then, um, how can you find your, well, the services that you need? Um, so, usually you know your neighbor platform and you will first contact uh, it. And uh, these platforms have, have, are very active in supporting users, their user community uh, projects. Uh, but uh, what we try to do also at the, at the uh, national level is to um, improve the tools, uh, the, the website, uh, our registries of tools, services, expertise uh, to facilitate um, your well, to facilitate the finding of the right um, services uh, for your needs. And so at the, at, at the Elixir do, do, uh, level, um, we are, well, there have been some very useful registries which have been developed and which, are, what, which we use um, uh, regularly. So bio.tools, where we register all the softwares that we develop and test. Uh, for the training material and events. Um, but what we are also very actively working on is um, to tag properly these tools, events uh, in these registries with an ontology to facilitate uh, their, uh, to improve their findability or their discoverability. And, and the French and, uh, and the Norwegian nodes uh, developed a, a specific ontology which is called EDAM and are still responsible for its uh, maintenance. So as I told you, Elixir is a very good uh, um, helper to get into large uh, structuring uh, national in, and international projects. Uh, I, what I would like to emphasize is that at, so at the national levels, um, these um, projects are structuring in the sense uh, that, or, or at the international also, so these projects are structuring at the in the sense that they help us to develop uh, services 
um, which can be used by the whole community, such, such as, for instance, servicing, services supporting fair data management and reproducible data analysis. Uh, one example is on the top right, uh, recently in a European project led by Elixir, Elixir Converge, uh, we developed a, a, a one-stop portal where you can find all the guidelines for fair data management cross-linked with uh, uh, resources that you, and services that you can use for training tools, uh, fair sharing catalogs, registries such as fair, fair sharing, fair cookbook, etc. And this is really useful and it is collaborative so you can go to it, you can uh, um, put an issue on the GitHub and contribute to improve the recipes and, and the content. The other thing is at the national level, we have also a um, big project that kind of embark all the French community uh, working on a specific subject. And this is really useful to develop uh, common, co to converge uh, towards common con uh, solutions and, and, and gather our forces. So one example, but it's not the only one, uh, is um, that is on, uh, I think it was epidemiological uh, surveillance, this one, Emergen. And, uh, and it is very useful to structure the whole national community and to work on the data workflow across different stakeholders and to improve it and improve the interoperability of it. Um, the other one is uh, GDI, so it's led by Elixir, it's in the health uh, domain of application, and it aims at, at, at creating uh, a cloud of, of health data, uh, supporting uh, uh, personal medicine, uh, and, and so it's, um, it's, it's the follow-up of one, where well, it supports uh, the One Million uh, Genome Initiative uh, ambition, and all uh, the nodes, uh, sh well, all the partners should provide a node or a data hub, so it will be a federation of health uh, data. So for France, we have started to sign uh, the, by start, uh, signing, sorry, uh, the consortium agreement, first step, by our ministry, so it took a long time. And then by 2027, we should set up an operational node um, for, of data. Uh, and the leader is the French Genomic uh, Medicine Infrastructure. It's not a IFB. IFB is providing some of the services, uh, bioinformatics services. Um, training and capacity building, uh, so the two uh, coordinators, Hélène and uh, Olivier, are really, really active and they are all very well linked to the Elixir training community. Um, they have, they have at, by, at the start and, and since a long time, even before IFB was, uh, was formed, they were already very active in training. Um, they have tr their, their aim in France was to develop different formats of training to really address all the needs of the French communities. So they have developed schools, university diploma with, in collaboration with, uh, with a university, regular training that we all do. E-training is in progress also. They have set up common resources for the French uh, community. So our French catalog, uh, which is synchronized with the, the Elixir's one, and also uh, Moodle and the GitLab to uh, gather all our uh, training resources and we try to make them fair. And so they are uh, contributing to Elixir uh, training platform activities, uh, which are um, regularly improving guidelines, um, um, uh, which has developed uh, the, the, the test catalog. And, and this is very interesting to uh, benefit, benefit from the expertise of all the, the European uh, community on training purposes. And finally, uh, being also in Elixir, help us also sometimes to gather our forces with one or two other nodes and to deliver a new training on a new subject. And this is a, there is an example with uh, 
integrated uh, integrative sorry bioinformatics summer school uh, last year um, we progressively have had a, 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 a specific task force on open science and interoperability um, and so uh, since two years we have put our efforts uh, in uh, uh, in setting up some services for checking for evaluating the fairness of our development so fair checker was re recently uh, uh, published we have worked uh, with other stakeholders on improving um, the knowledge model of, of softwares uh, helping you to do a data management plan at different levels. And we are also working uh, actively on uh, setting up uh, services uh, facilitating data brokering uh, to EMPL API uh, archives. Um, at the international level, we are um, participating to uh, the emergence of a new Elixir community, the Elixir data management community that will gather all the data stewards of all the nodes. And uh, we are contributing to uh, other, like, uh, other consortium like uh, the Research Data Alliance uh, and two uh, standards. Um, the two so you have five people who are in coordinating the activities and two of them are specifically uh, making a liaison with the other uh, research infrastructure, the one who are producing the data. And this is really important uh, on that subject to co-develop uh, the guidelines, the standards, etc. So all these activities has uh, led the French Ministry of Research to Ask uh, IFB to be um, to organize a thematic reference center. So the French Ministry is organizing or is setting well, is organizing uh, to set up its uh, French node of the European Open Science Cloud, and so it has set up a whole organization. And we are uh, as well, we are mandated to um, support life sciences. Uh, for that. Uh, so to finish, uh, the um, IFB has uh, hired a new director, Guy Perrier, in, in July, so it's very new. And uh, this is the new board of... Uh, the, well, so Guy is the director, and there are three deputy directors. And uh, I will uh, uh, ensure the liaison with uh, Elixir with the help of Guy. And so if you have any question uh, on IFP, uh, please, uh, I I, we will be all happy uh, to answer to you. And Elixir is hiring his new director also. So if you want to apply or if you know someone who wants to apply, please, uh, you can. Thank you. You are welcome. Any questions? Yes. Thank you, Van Francois, for the for the talk. Now it's much clearer how we can get in touch with this year, and uh, at least in my mind, before it was kind of uh, not not so clear how we could interact with the year and the international. So thank you. Uh, my question it might depend on the type of training, but. Um, is the training open to everyone that wants to do it, or do we have to be part of a French institution or at least a national French institution to, to apply? So um, it deep, well, it might depend on the language. <laughs> so most of our trainings are in English and open uh, to the international community. Sometimes we do them in French when we. So in, I have one example. Uh, we made a, a training on uh, phenotyping data standardization, and we wanted to target a uh, lab technician. And sometimes doing this in English is not very efficient, so we did it in French. But if you are a French speaker from Switzerland, Belgium, whatever, <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. 